Before the opening bell, U.S. indices closing higher on Wednesday after the Fed decided to maintain the federal funds rate at two and a quarter to two and a half percent as expected. Now, shares in tech, hardware and equipment, retailing and semiconductors and semiconductor equipment, they ended higher. On the economic docket, MBA mortgage applications decreasing by 3% in the weekend of January 25th. ADP employment change reaching 213,000 in January. Pending home sales falling by 2.2% month over month in December. And the Fed deciding to maintain the federal funds rate between two and a quarter to two and a half percent as expected. Fed Chairman Jerome Powell mentioning that the case for raising rates has weakened somewhat, while adding that financial conditions are less supportive of growth. This all as advancers ahead of decliners, 80% of S&P 500 constituents trading higher yesterday, now after the markets closed. Microsoft announcing second quarter diluted EPS of $1.08 versus an LPS of $0.82 cents a year ago on revenue of $32.47 billion. Facebook reporting fourth quarter diluted EPS of $2.38 versus $1.44 a year ago on revenue of $16.91 billion, net income jumping by 61% year over year. PayPal unveiling fourth quarter adjusted EPS of $0.69 cents on net revenue of $4.23 billion in line with estimates, and Tesla swinging to a fourth quarter adjusted EPS of $1.93 from an adjusted LPS of $2.90 on revenue of $7.23 billion. Turning overseas, Asian markets well-oriented today. The Nikkei up 1.06%, the Nikkei up 1.08%, China's CSI 300 up 1.05%, and South Korea's Coast be down 0.06%. European markets slightly higher, and U.S. futures calling for a positive start. In terms of expectations today, MasterCard, fourth quarter EPS seen at $1.52 on sales of approximately $3.8 billion. Dow DuPont, fourth quarter EPS seen at $0.87 cents on sales of approximately $20.9 billion. UPS, fourth quarter EPS seen at $1.90 on sales of approximately $20 billion. In General Electric, fourth quarter EPS seen at $0.22. Cents. While Amazon, fourth quarter EPS, $7.88. Looking over at the economic dock, at 8.30 in the morning, we have the fourth quarter employment cost index and both initial and continuing jobless claims figures. While 9.45, we have the January Chicago PMI read. Now, taking a look at the markets, the S&P 500 is where you begin. That sees further upside and is also in focus. The relative strength index advocates for further advance. Long positions above 26.72 are favored with targets at 26.95 and 27.08 in extension. The Nasdaq sees further upside while the Dow Jones sees further advance.